Hi, folks, and uh, Happy New Year. Graphic coming up there on the screen. Yay! All right, first video of the year. Haven't got any new products to talk about today. Just uh, going to go over uh, you know, my final, final conclusions of the putting my money where my mouth is series on the new mobile G3 and tell you how it worked out. And, uh, and then we're going to talk about that DJI Osmo and why I really want this gimbal and think it's worth your money. Let's get to that right after the intro, right now. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com. As you will see coming up on the screen right now, TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool uh, as far as prices go. The price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer. And I'm only paying $4.50 a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen. And at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. Hi folks, we're back and you had to watch that TubeBuddy ad, of course, because, well, you had to. Because uh, we don't have enough subscribers, donations, or anything to buy new equipment. So I got to make a dollar here or a dollar there. Hey, oh, and right now we're, we're seriously at the zero dollar budget section. I'm scrambling just to get caught up on my rent. And uh, that's killing me right now. And uh, that means I got nothing left over. Ever, ever, ever. Electricity, rent, all that crap. You know, it's uh, one of those things. I'm just firing up the uh, new G3 here to talk about for a second because that's going to be our first subject. I did that, you know, putting my money where my mouth is deal. And uh, uh, this weekend, I actually, this past weekend, I left the SIM card in it and used it all weekend like your parents or grandparents or somebody you gave it to who's older would use it and guess what yeah 3000 milliamp hour battery on Sunday I still had 68% seriously how could you have that well sorry folks but that's just how it works this thing has a great display I know, you can't really see it because of the glaring lights and all. But it's brighter than any of the other displays I have. You would be hard-pressed to differentiate the 7, 720 and, of course, all the... I just fired it up, so I'm getting all the yeah stuff coming in. Great. Um... 3,000 milliamp hour battery will get your parents or grandparents because they don't stare at their phones and they're not Pavlov's dog like the younger generation who hear a ding and they have to check it right away. I gotta check it. Somebody sent me a Snapchat. Really? It won't be there in an hour or two. Or I got a Facebook. Yeah, okay. And it won't be there in an hour. It will be. Trust me. Uh, they're only going to shoot 30 second videos this thing takes stellar uh, still shots with a 13 megapixel back camera and, and it's got a 13 megapixel on the front but it only shoots a 720 there but they're not going to care you, know, you give this to your parents 
they're going to shoot, you know, a 10 second video, a 20 second video, you know, kids blowing out the candles and whatever, and they'll either send it directly to you or Facebook it if you teach them how to do that and try to ruin their lives too. And, uh, it's fast enough, it's plenty fluid, and it fits perfectly in your hand. And if you put a case on it, you're never going to drop this thing. I wouldn't give this to anyone without ordering the case for it. Also, a 2D Alin case is perfect. It's gray. It's got the edge lip so you can lay it face down. Plenty of access to the fingerprint reader and cameras on the back. This does shoot at 1080p. You're just never going to watch a video at more than 720. And I'll bet you you wouldn't know the difference in most cases. So that's my conclusions on that. For 139 if they're not going to use it a lot or know nothing about smartphones, get them a 3,000 milliamp hour battery if they know a little bit about them. And you think they might spend a little too much time on the network? Get them a 4,000 milliamp hour version. All these links will be in the description below of anything we're talking about. As usual, shoot, shooting on the Mi A2 here using open camera so I can use the cool microphone and get the best sound of any mics I have. Now, of course, with the uh, new mobile, to get the optimal output from, uh, you know, videos, you know, sound-wise, you would want to get a, a cheap lavalier mic. They can be had. Uh, if you look at episode two or part two of that, putting my money where my mouth is, there's a short video clip in there where I recorded first with no EIS, of course, and no no uh, external mic. And then I cut and went over to the uh, section with the microphone, the external lavalier mic, uh, and I uh, turned on open camera and I got... A little bit of stabilization. And this thing charges up fairly quick. So, let's move on. Uh, picture coming up here. DJI Osmo. Gimbal. I gotta have one, folks. It, this will be my perfect tool for work. Because I can mount this to my selfie stick. My Empow selfie stick. Which we're also, you know, of course, as usual, controlling. Turning on and off the videos with as I record, uh, and because it has a little flip-up thing and you tighten it and you can put, use it as, you know, it's a tripod, obviously. And, uh, you know, you leave the rest of the tripod tilted down the camera holder part, and then you could use a DJI Osmo. If you want, you can get, you know, one of those low, flat ones. Yeah, those are cool, too. And I believe in an earlier video on it, I posted the link to get that, and uh, if I can, I'll dig it up and add it on here. Uh, it's only eight ninety nine. Uh, the combo kit is much more because you have to give you the case, that little hard case. You really don't need that. Put it in the velvet bag and take care of the damn thing. You know, don't cram it in your suitcase or wrap it in a towel or something. It's that easy. Uh, it's a great one, and it's 109 bucks on uh, Amazon. Links below. And uh, you can get it on B&H Photo, I believe, for the same amount. I don't get an affiliate kickback, so think about me. At least think about me for once and click the Amazon link. And you, you can buy this thing. 109 bucks. How do you go wrong there? You don't. So, the last thing is we're going to get our hands sometime this year on the Mi A3 picture popping up. It's only a 720 display. Well, we've already gone over that with the new Mobile T3. As long as it's bright and sharp and the colors pop out, 
I know it's only IPS. You know what? Amelot is fantastic. But I had Amelot on my Blue Studio Energy 2. And nobody ever got excited about that. It was only a 720. But it was Amelot. And that came out in like 2015. And it was 134 bucks. That was pretty cool. I used it for a lot of years, but they never updated as Blue is wont to do. They do not update their software. They do not update their Android versions. Or unless they've changed, I, I won't ever buy another Blue phone again because of that. They just don't update. And um, although... Speaking of updates, I am exceedingly disappointed with Xiaomi. This is me A2, and according to them, <coughs> excuse me, it was supposed to, in the fourth quarter, get Android 10. I thought it should have got it at the same time the Pixels did. That's how it's supposed to work with Android 1. Xiaomi dropped the ball. Pretty bad on this. I ain't got Android 10 yet. And I'm not holding my breath to ever get it. Sometimes these Chinese manufacturers get a little lazy. But who knows? Maybe they'll surprise me later tonight. I'll, you know, I usually check it once or twice during the day just by going into the system updates and check for updates. It'd be cool. I'd have something to talk about for real. Uh, really good stuff to talk about. So that's all I have for today. I want to thank you for watching. And just say, please, you know, read that like, share, and subscribe. Because when you do, it helps us. And leave feedback in the comments below. Tell me how we're doing. And what you think I should test for other than what I'm talking about, or if you think there's something better than DJI Osmo for the price, let me know. I don't think there is, really. That thing looks like it totally rocks. I mean, I've watched, I'm up to 30 videos that I've watched on it, and there's not one negative thing on it. Have a great day, folks, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one, probably, I don't know, tomorrow, maybe later tonight, I don't know. We shut the shop down early today, but I had to finish a car I was posting. So when I got home, I took care of that from home on the Mi A2, edited the video, posted it up at StalinsUseCars.com, uh, where I work. Catch you in the next one. And remember, like... Share. Subscribe. Thanks, folks.